Hi, okay, for my next little video, I just want to talk to you about breathing. So we obviously we have to breathe while we're doing the exercises, otherwise you're gonna pass out. So in Pilates, it's a bit different to other forms of exercise where you tend to breathe into your lower abdominals. So, which is um, ideally what we're aiming to do, but in Pilates, we're aiming to work um, in lateral breathing, which means breathing into the lower part of your rib cage so you feel the ribs expand and come back in. So the best way to try and feel yourself doing this is either do it seated or lying down, placing the hands on the ribs. So you get to know your body quite well. So have the hands, fingers wide, splayed on the ribs. Think about where your little finger's going, just below the last rib and then breathe into the last two, three, two or three fingers and now as you breathe you'll feel the ribs moving well you should feel the ribs moving so we're trying not to breathe here into your chest you want to breathe lower down get that diaphragm really working and then start to change the breath, start to move it around the hands so you're breathing into the heels of the hands. And as you do so, you'll feel the lungs expand and come back in, almost like bellows or an accordion. Or you can imagine there's a balloon inside your rib cage and you're trying to breathe into the balloon, expand it, and then let the air release from the balloon. So that's called lateral thoracic breathing. You can also think about breathing into the back as well. So when the hands are on the ribs, you can have the thumb around the back part and feel the ribs expand into the thumb as well. So you feel it width ways as you breathe in and breathe out. So and as you exhale, you connect with the center. So the breathing changes as you work through the levels. So when you get into the intermediate and advanced level, the breathing can change because it's much harder to stabilize on some exercises as you breathe in. So in the beginning, we breathe out, working the center as we stabilize with the pelvis. So it will become clear when you start doing lots of exercises, when you start to practice more, it becomes second nature and you just do it without thinking. But that's in a nutshell how we talk about how we breathe, how we uh, work lateral thoracic breathing in Pilates. So have a practice, try not to breathe into your shoulders. A lot of people have got back pain and shoulder pain because they breathe here into their chest and they breathe into their shoulders. So we're trying to keep the breath lower down where it should be. Okay, let me know how you get on.